So we're going to the radio station right now. Oh. See you in the radio station. It's a lovely studio and it's really bright in it as well. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna show you. Oh, I'm not so sure how to do that. Aretha Franklin, I say a little prayer on BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. I want you to think back, when you were young, what is it that you wanted to do? Maybe you wanted to be an astronaut, a singer, a writer, something like that. Well, I have two girls joining me in the studio today who don't only want to be authors when they're older, they're already doing it now. Rebecca and Rachel are from Rugby. They have three published books between them and they're only 13 and 10. Girls, good morning to you. Good morning. So, Rebecca, you're 13. Yeah. Um, you wrote the first book, didn't you? Yeah. What was it that made you go, I'm going to do writing? Well, I got in, I always wanted to be an author ever since I was five years old. I just liked writing. Um, I got many awards of writing um, in primary school. Um, so I guess that inspired me. And I also wanted to boost it even further. So I decided to write a book, I guess. Wow, that's a pretty brave thing to do because yeah. I think I keep thinking I would like to write a book, yeah. but I don't actually sit down and do it. Do so it. that's good on you for doing it. So what was your first book? Um, it was called I Can't Do It Yet, but School is Epic. Cool. And what's it all about? Um, it's about transitioning from primary school to secondary school. So if you have any nerves or any um, feelings that you're scared of secondary school, um, I. I wrote a book so that people won't have to be nervous and so that they'll know what to expect and what not to expect in secondary school. It's a really good idea because it is a big leap, isn't it? Yeah. I, I bet lots of people have loved it. How, yeah. how did it go? Because it's on Amazon as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's on Amazon. So yeah. how how sales gone? Um, sales has gone really good. Um, we gave like over 50 copies. Um, we sold over 50 copies across um, Europe and Africa and it's been really good. That's awesome. What did your friends think when you said, I've published a book? <laughs> they were really amazed, and they were like, wow, you've published a book. You must be really famous then. I was like, okay. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Rachel, you're 10, and you already have a book published as well. Yeah. So where did your passion for writing come from? Well, it came from, um, well, my school, because my teacher encouraged me to like write poems in our work. Um, and my first poem was Winter Trees, um, which is also in this book as well. Oh, maybe we'll have to get you to read a little bit of that in a minute. Um, did, did, obviously you saw your sister writing as well, did that inspire you? Uh, yeah, because I like poems and when I uh, saw that Rebecca wrote a book, um, I thought I should write a book as well. Amazing, and so you did. Yeah. As simple as that. And so with you, you prefer poems to maybe stories? Well, I'm, at the moment, I'm also writing some fiction stories. So, yeah. You're crossing over both. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> now, both of you girls have a YouTube channel as well. So tell me a little bit about your YouTube channel. What's that all about? Um, it's called Girl Sparkles Able. Um, and basically, we started off, teaching people about Yoruba, which is a common language spoken in Nigeria, which is in Africa. So we started doing that, but then I wrote a book, so I think our channel is going to be based around like books and interviewing different people who helped us um, publish our books. Amazing. And how did you end up getting published? How, do you go, how does one go about doing that? Um, we went online publishing, so... Um, we think we went on Amazon to publish our books. That's how we got our books published. I see. And are there any books in the pipeline coming up? Yeah, we're going to be writing more. What What are you working on at the moment? Can you tell us? I wouldn't want to be a spoiler. So. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, Rachel? Have you got a book in the pipeline um, as well? Yeah, um, I'm making another poem book. Cool. Um, and it's going to be 
about um, different countries, A to Z, um, one for each letter. Awesome. And have you been to all of those countries? No. <laughs> you do your research and write yeah. about them. I think it's fantastic. And is this what you want to do when you grow up, as in yeah. full-on yeah. authors? Fiction always? Mm, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> and a bit of poetry mixed in there. Yeah. Would you read us a little bit of one of your poems, Rachel? Okay. Just tell us which one it is. Um, well, this one is called School. School is boring. Yes, it is. Children snoring in a quiz. All the subjects and DT. Math comes next, so are we free? Children in detention, getting into trouble. Is it something I should mention? Is it on the double? All the teachers very strict. Annoying creatures can predict. Music lessons really fun. They are sessions quickly done. Weird assemblies, awards given out. People treated gently is something that I doubt. Ah, very good. I hope you're never in detention, though. No. <laughs> no, no, never. <laughs> very good. Um, although maybe you are up late doing your YouTube channel. <laughs> Oh, well, girls, thank you so much for coming in. It's a real pleasure to have you on the show and keep up the writing. Thank you. Um, if people wanted to find your YouTube channel, where do they go one more time? Um, well, you can go onto YouTube and type in Girl Sparkles Able. Um, we also have an Instagram page um, and it's Girl Sparkles underscore Able. We also have a Facebook page and that is Girl Sparkles dot Able. Amazing. Girls, I think you're amazing. Thank you. 10 and 13, three published books, and people can get them on Amazon. Just a quick reminder, we have Passionate Poet, that's Rachel. Mm -hmm. We have I Can't Do It Yet, But School Is Epic. And finally, another one from Rebecca. Yeah, The Star and the East. Which is all, I'm assuming, about the Bible story. Yeah. Awesome, a perfect uh, reminder of Christmas that we've just had, maybe a Christmas present for next year. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Amazing, guys, thanks so much. Thank you. Really good, I'm so impressed.